<clears throat> Hello YouTube and welcome to another video here on our channel. Today Alex and Ricky we're going to be playing Lego Jurassic World and we're going to be showing off the vehicles and the dinosaurs that we've unlocked so far. So we don't have them all yet uh, so still some way to go but we're going to give you a bit of a look at how it at our, our, our progress so far. Today I'm going to be talking through the dinosaurs and then I'll be handing over to Alex who will be giving you a little bit of a demo on the cars and vehicles. Oh, I need to come in. And I am... Um, oh. Where are we going, Alex? So you're going to customise yourself first. Okay, I'm just... Uh, trying to blame anyone, but here was your idea, wasn't it? Remember, the gyrospheres are not bumper cars. Mm -hmm. 
How's your customizing going, Alex? Is there a chance the tracks could bend? Customized yet. Well, for you guys watching this as a live stream or live recording, this is probably not gonna be the most exciting or interesting. So you might wanna, you know, pass forward in the bit if you're watching the uh, watching the replay and I'm sure at some point we'll figure out how we can record our videos and edit them down so we can really just you know give you the most exciting and interesting bits to watch this gathering of people behind my uh, my chat now I think it is is it called Alan this guy yeah Alan Alan Grant hmm. I wonder what they're doing here. Well, while I'm waiting for you, Alex, I'm just going to uh, smash a few bits up and collect a few studs because it's not going to hurt for us to be able to have a few more of these in our bank for when it comes to unlocking some more uh, cars or characters. Alright, okay. Um, I'm not sure you can customise the gun. Or can you? you? Can I don't know. Um, I don't know which setting that, that would be. That one? What's that one? No, that's the no. That's the hips. That's the hips. What's that one? So that's all right. So that's the tool. What kind of things can you customize with the gun? What's that one? That's the name. What's the next one? What's the DNA ladder? Click on that one. What does that do? Oh, that's the DNA code. I don't think you can customize it. Then. Have you seen it happen? Please remember, the gyrospheres are not bumper cars. The gyrospheres are not bumper cars. Hey Jimmy. I'm not really sure where it is by you yet. Shot me. <laughs> la, da, da, da. <laughs> la, da, 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 da. <laughs> Ooh, one side scream. Me, I love ice cream. <laughs> What's your favourite kind of ice cream, Alex? Chocolate. Mine too. Mm, yummy.
Are we all ready to go and do our sh vehicle dino show off? Where are we going? you're gonna get Alex to drive there. Yeah? Alright, that's one of my favourites. The Gyrosphere Valley. This is also my favourite too. I'm in. Are you uh, being a passenger? Oh, bit of horn. Oh, excuse me, out of the way. Beep beep, beep beep. Uh, oh, crash. Might run you over. Uh, which way is it? It's the Gyrosphere Valley again. Oh. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. me here. We made it. So, are we demoing the dinos first or the vehicles? Dino. Dino, demoing the dinos. Okay, off we go. I'm in. Let's go, 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 go. Alright, so we're uh, here at the dino delivery pad as Alex is running over a Gallimimus. Which dinosaur shall we start with? Let's go with this small dino. So we've unlocked. Uh, quite a few of these. Oh, Alex getting into a fight with a Gallimimus there. So, which shall we begin with out of these? We'll go with, well, we'll have to go with the Velociraptor. And this one is blue. There we go. So, can do the walk like a dinosaur. Oh, and he can attack the Gallimimus, and the Gallimimus can fight back. <laughs> Do a bit of roaring. Oh, oh. oh right, well, we got that one, Gallimimus. So, raptors. Raptors can pull things with their teeth. Yeah. And the, can they pounce on things as well? So they can pull levers, they can pounce walls and things where there's a something to grab hold and pounce from and onto uh, and so they can be used they need to be used at quite a few places around the game to be able to unlock certain things uh, so uh, an important dinosaur for you to be able to get and unlock the velociraptor so you hold circle down like this and then if you've got something you can pounce on you can let go and pounce it, but obviously can't, because there's nothing to pounce on here. Oh, tree, and... Okay, meanwhile, Alex is just, like, attacking everybody. He's attacking a car now for some crazy reason. Alex, it's a car! It's a car, Mr. Raptor! Oh. So, dino number two, and it's the Dilophosaurus. Look at this. Nope. What have it? Is? Oh, okay. So, Alex has now turned into the Dilophosaurus, and he's spitting his venom. He's a quite vicious looking dino. Oh, oh, oh no, he's now attacking me. Ow! 
I just broke me into a thousand pieces. So I'm gonna change. No, I'm gonna get Owen out of the way. Oh, the uh, he died. The Dilophosaurus lost to the Gallimimus. Unbelievable. Okay, so while Alex is uh, giving you a fine demonstration of the Dilophosaurus there, I'm going to uh, go to the Pachycephalosaurus. Here we go. And I can switch. Well, there we go. The Pachycephalosaurus is the dino that looks like it's got a monk's head on it with the little bobbly bits. And this is because... Oh, do a little bit of dance and a wag of the tail there. Oh. This dino can also do the headbutt charge. A mean looking dino. So it can crash into things if I can hit them. So it can crack various things around the, around the world. I uh, can't, I oh, guess it can break the tree. Uh, things like the stumps that are around, you smash them to pieces. Uh, and yeah, just charge into most things really. Yeah, and then just little, like, looks a bit like he does a bit of a dino dance, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so that's Black Pacacephalosaurus. Next up, have we got any more of the small dinos left? We have, and we're now moving on to. Oh, the baby dinosaurs. And our first one is the baby triceratops. Look at the baby triceratops. Isn't it cute? Hello. Ow! Ow! He killed me. Alright, so... When the baby Triceratops has not been all violent like Alex is at the moment, it's quite cute. It can stumble around, it can do a bit of a charge. Uh, has it got a bit of a oh, stomp his feet a little bit? So, yeah, so, you know, baby Triceratops. Go get it out of. Oh. Right. Next dinosaur, we're going to have a look at. So, another small one coming up. And this, another baby one, and this time we're going to look at the baby Stegosaurus. They're all cute, these little baby dinos. Look at it with little, yeah, little Stegosaurus. Runs around, ow! Oh! Whoa, just, yeah. Alex, getting him back, attacking me. Well, the Stegosaurus bumbles around like a bit of a clumsy, di clumsy dinosaur. Cute looking again. There, he does a bit of a, a little bit of a tap. I don't think this one does a. This one doesn't charge like the baby Triceratops does. Does a bit of a raw, a little bit of a headbutt attack. Oh, oh, oh no, don't attack Ellen. Um, yeah. Doesn't manoeuvre very very well. So it feels like it's a bit a bit a bit clumsy. And then that brings us to our final baby dinosaur that we've got unlocked at the moment, and that is the baby T Rex. Yes. Velociraptor. I've done the Velociraptor. This we haven't got the baby T Rex. The baby Velociraptor. Right. Have we? Oh, we do have the baby Velociraptor. <gasps> Look how tiny this one is. The little teeny tiny T-Rex. How cute is that? Look at that. Does he do a roar? Oh, he does a bit of a jump. He does a little attack. He doesn't do a baby T-Rex roar though. Just a little bit of a dance. Uh, no, don't. Sorry, everybody. Alex is going a little bit crazy here. So uh, that well, that's all the day. That's all the dinos on the delivery pad. 
Oh look, Alex has got the little baby uh, Velociraptor there who doesn't seem to have any legs and just like boys around, yeah. I'm not really sure how accurate that is, but anyway, we're going to move on to the medium dinosaurs that we've unlocked, and as you can see, we've not unlocked too many of those, so we've got we've got a Triceratops to look at, a uh, Stegosaurus, and the uh, Ankylosaurus, Ankylosaurus, sorry, recent pronunciation and correction that I uh, learnt by playing the game. So, we are going to um, look at the Triceratops. There's a big Triceratops who now seems to be getting attacked by the baby. Oh, Raptor. And before I've had a chance to switch over, the baby Raptor has killed the giant Triceratops. I'm not really sure that had happened in, um, in real life. But anyway, we'll try this again. We'll switch to the... No, I don't want to switch the dinosaur. Oh, no. Get away, little baby. No, it's fine. You don't have to kill the baby T-Rex. I just need to get control of the big adult Triceratops. As you can see, you can run. Charge! It's not very fast. Not very agile, but you'd expect that of a... A dinosaur of this size, but look at the shield. Yeah, look at that mean, mean looking dino. You wouldn't want to pick a fight with this one, would you? Yeah, okay, well, before that happens, I'm going over. Leave him alone, baby raptor. Then we go back to our dino delivery pad. And we go and have a look at our next medium dinosaur. So this time we're going to have a look at the uh, adult Stegosaurus. Yes, look at it. Much bigger than the baby. Uh, oh, God, I didn't swap that. Can I? Oh, no, I don't want... I want to swap... There we go. Ooh, that sounds a bit vicious. Wow, the baby Stegosaurus. I thought the baby Stegosaurus was clumsy, but this is just like... God, he's just so slow and slowly plodded along. He's got a big tail. It's a little bit of a swish. Oops, stomps. Bit of a... But, whoa, this is... Yeah, this is one clumsy dino. Okay, I thought it doesn't seem like he could even move his legs properly. He's just, like, slopping around. Can I find some trees to eat or something? Okay, that's enough of him. We're going to go back and find our next dinosaur. Get to the dino delivery pad. And our last medium dinosaur is the Ankylosaurus. Nice purple colour. We unlock the Ankylosaurus doing the uh, the Indominus Rex. Was it the Indominus chase? I yeah, the scene where we get chased by the Indominus Rex in the uh, gyrosphere balls while we're playing as um, yes, the hamster ball with uh, what's the guy? What's the, the Jack Zach Zach and Gray? Yeah. Well, the Ankylosaurus. It's a bit like a, uh, an armadillo, isn't it? And it's got this big axe-shaped tail. It looks like miraculous on the end of it, really. Uh, but again, it doesn't move too, too well. But yeah, it's a bit of a headbutt, a bit of a stomp. Oh, and look at that. Look at that, the combo. Combo of a stomp and a forward roll. And if you get, well, that move, the, the, the Ankylosaurus, you get him doing that roll and landing them spikes on you. You've not got much of a chance, have you, really? Oh, a bit of a swing. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. That's three times I've killed the baby raptor now. Okay, I'm going to get out of here because I'm just causing carnage. Uh, which way do I get, go to get back to the uh, delivery pad? That's it, this way. Alright. Come on then, Alan. Let's go and see because I think that's the medium dinos. Let's have a look at the big dinos that we've got left now. 
Alright, so the large dinosaurs, and again, we haven't got too many of these, but we have got We've got yes, we have. We've got we've got two to show you, and they are the scary versions. That's for sure. So we're going to start with the T-Rex. Wow, look at the size of this thing. And Alex already stole. No, has he? No, he's not. Oh, oh! I uh, the T-Rex stamped on me. No, he didn't. I think the baby raptor's going to have a bit of a job on there. And there we go. The big T-Rex. Now these for a huge dinosaur. These move very well. You can't... There's no, there's no jumping going on here. There's no jumping going on with these guys. But just look at it. Look at me. Look at that dinosaur. That is zero. Oh, and the Ankylosaurus is coming to uh, have, a, have a bit of a uh, bit of a play here. So we, we've got we've got a bit of a bite and a headbutt and a swish. Oh, and a roar! Look at that roar! Wow! That's... Oh, stomp! So you'll find bits of this lava stuff around the uh, around the Lego Jurassic World game, and to. Uh, to uh, get this, you need to uh, you need to give it a bit of a roar. Now, how do I did the roar again? It's a square, but was it? It's all the square, but whoa! Look at that for a roar and boosh! The lava breaks, and then when that breaks, it usually oh, God, it's so noisy, it's so loud. Look at that! How loud is that? An impressive, scary dinosaur. But what that does, it breaks the lava and then you can use the, uh, it usually unlocks something, so there you go. Alex demonstrating the raptor there that can it can launch itself up onto that and uh, up onto that ledge. Or it might unlock an entrance into somewhere or there might be something contained inside the, uh, in the lava. Right, so I'm going to go back, swaps to Alan and we're going to go back to the dino delivery pad. And we're going to have one quick final look at our five last large dinosaur that we've got to show you. And that is... Yes, as Alex just kindly said, the Indominus Rex. So here we go. Very similar. Look at what's going on. Very similar looking to the T-Rex, apart from he's white with red mean eyes and little spikes that he got on his back. And he's, of course, the Indominus Rex is part T-Rex, part Raptor, the smartest, scariest dino of them all. Stomp, 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 stomps along. Yes, oh, look, some Galamimas here for me too. To eat oh, and head out of the way. Can we even do a bit of a stomp? So, all the. Oh, did I kill the raptor again? So, all the mechanics are pretty much the same as the uh, well, identical to the T Rex. The raw doesn't quite seem to be. The, the, The raw's mean, but it's not quite T-Rex mean. What does the circle do? Oh, yes. This is the Indominus Rex. Oh, right, there you go. The Indominus Rex puts itself into camouflage mode. You can sneak around and nobody's going to know he's there. You can believe that. All right, so I'm going to go back to Alan. And that concludes our dino show off showcase uh, Alex it's over to you now so you can take us through and have a look at the vehicles that we've got uh, we can sort that out though I can give you the headphones if you want to talk through oh thanks well you know for somebody that I'll take care of that red
You're asking somebody that doesn't, you know, particularly like talking and... God, he's got off to be a lot of energy now for me to continue talking about this. Oh. I thought we were that very flashy for you. Thanks. Alright, well if you're going to do the, the vehicles, what, I'll do the commentary, but I'm just going to, I am going to drop out of the game so that we can go into full screen mode whilst we show off these, uh, the selection of vehicles. So I don't think we're going to have time to get them through all tonight, guys, but we will uh, start with this one, which is a favourite of both mine and Alex. Now, I just like the classic Jurassic Park look to this vehicle. Uh, the fact that it's uh, a nice little, uh, well, I say convertible, uh, but uh, there's, there's, you can't convert it, just, just roof off Jeep. Uh, it's uh, quite mobile, quite manoeuvrable. You can get somebody sat in the back as well. Uh, and yeah, it's just good fun to drive around. And Alex doing a lovely demonstration there of the uh, the uh, yeah the, the driving skills and uh, straight into the lake with that one. So don't do that, guys. Now he's got to walk all the way back to the vehicle delivery pad. Okay, you've got uh, you've got six more minutes, Alex, to uh, show off as many vehicles as you can. So, vehicle number two, what we're we gonna have? The forklift truck. Not really sure what you actually use this for, if anything, in the game. Uh, it's got quite a um, like, yeah, it's got a, it's got a unique driving mechanism compared to the other vehicles but just like a forklift that you have in real life there's uh, the uh, the front and the back wheels uh, turn so that you can pretty much turn on a sixpence really and um, uh, get into all those tight spaces and what I've just seen Alex you've actually lifted the forks up and down how did you do that with square so I wonder if there must be somewhere in the game that um, that needs you to do a bit of forklift driving and maybe move some pallets or something around and poor old Alan there getting squashed by the forklift. No, oh, so I think Alex is... Uh, no, he's just going to leave that one there. I thought he was choosing the method of dumping the vehicle into the lake as his method of disposal but that is not very environmentally friendly guys so if you've got any vehicles that you no longer want don't crash them into the lake yeah. it's like this is, we have the okay road sweeper. Road, road sweeper this is a little tiny one uh, can you get in I mean is in is in well, there you go so uh, sweeping sweeping up the grass is it a bit slow, Alex? Yeah, it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow, but you know. You... Oof. Okay, that wasn't very uh, an ex exciting. But the the road sweeper. So, what's up next that we're going to have a look at? We're going for the Jurassic Park tour vehicle. So again, going back to one of the classics. From the 1993 original Jurassic Park movie, and it looks like it's sinking. Have you got a flat tire there, or you just wedged yourself under? It just wedged in. Uh, this vehicle, of course, from this scene where we uh, get to meet the T Rex in Jurassic Park, and when they. Uh, Let's get it. Let's back in. Yeah, oh, we've got another one. where it attacks and the children are inside and then it falls off of the edge of the bridge and it gets stuck in the tree. And the guys escape. They're obviously larger than the other vehicles that we've seen so far. Uh, yeah, well, you know, bright and luminous colours on the side, you're not going to miss it, are you? And then the giant aerials, I'm sure you're going to get a few radio stations off of, uh, off of that. But the bigger vehicle, not quite as responsive as uh, maybe some of the smaller vehicles. And 
What I find is that the bigger the vehicles as well, they're obviously taking up more space on the screen and it can be much more difficult to see, but that's one of the reasons why we want to do this demo in full screen mode, because when you're doing split screen and half and half and you're driving the bigger vehicles, it's really, really difficult to see where you're going. So we've got another similar to the uh, the first Jeep that we saw, but this has actually got the roof on it. Soft top. So it drives exactly the same as the one with uh, without the soft top, without the soft top on it, but obviously this one keeps you nice and shaded from that hot sun. Okay, we've got time for two more vehicle demonstrations before uh, we have to leave you for today. Okay, so we're going to get Alex's other two personal favourite videos now. Ve videos, vehicles, begins with V. Same thing. Right, so this is the mobile VET unit. Why is this one of your favourites, Alex? There you go, so if you have seen the Jurassic World movie, you'll see that it's uh, Give you the spoiler, but Claire's well, I oh will. Claire's sits in the truck waiting with the boys, and uh, eventually the raptors come. And as you can see, the car maps on there, and they, as they race off and drive uh, down the front path, the uh, raptors attack as the doors swing wildly open trying to get the boys and they uh, manage to bite them off. Owen comes riding up on his bike and, and they, yeah, they all eventually live happily ever after. And is this your next favourite one? This looks like one of the in-gen vehicles. Who's going to drive this one? A human. ACU person. So we've got an ACU piece person. And why do you like this vehicle, Alex? There you go, so pretty good if you want to go for a tour around the Jurassic World and get to see the see the vehicles and take a group of people around. So there we have it. I think that's all we've got time for tonight, folks. But Okay, so thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll um, don't forget hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back to play some more Lego Jurassic World. We've still got some more levels to play through. So hope to see you again soon. Bye guys. So this will have to do it for this episode of Lego Jurassic World and we'll be back for another episode of Lego Jurassic World tomorrow and finally we'll have to say goodbye.